Well, BMF tells the story of the brothers who fostered one of the most influential crime families in the country. Known as Black Mafia Family, season three of the gripping drama is one of change for patriarch Charles Flannery, played by Russell Hornsby. Take a look. The forces take time and money, and we barely make it enough to keep the lights on as it is. I can't afford to rent someplace else. It won't cost you anything to sleep on the couch. I'm not sleeping on the couch. This is still my house. You stopped being the head of this house a long time ago. Hurt and Russell's with me now. Welcome, Russell. Good to see you. Good to see you. Thank you. That hurt watching that. So Lucille wants a divorce. Your character yes. does not want a divorce. You may be still living under the same roof. So tell us kind of how we're going to see that affect everybody this season. Well, yeah, Charles is a little stubborn. You know, he's saying this is the house I built, so this is my house where I will stay. Yeah. And um, you know, uh, Lucille said you've got to leave, but they they work it out somehow. Uh, but it is, this is a season of change, yeah. and Charles is uh, changing for the better, I think. You know, you take a little valley, and you have to go back up and, yeah. and flow again. And we're, we're seeing a new him uh, where he, he delves more into his musicality. Oh, yeah. Because yeah. I was going to say, like, we, we learn a little bit about you as we go. Right. So what are we going to learn about you this yeah. season? Yeah. Well, you know, he, the real Charles was a, was a musician, was a, a guitarist, and uh, played the steel guitar as well. Oh, cool. And so this season, we get to see Charles go, uh, go on the road with a band. Oh, nice. And I get a chance to play, and I serenade my wife a little bit. Oh, wow. <laughs> You're trying to win her back. You, you do what you can. <laughs> You you know what what you music helps a lot yes. of times. If music be the food of love, <laughs> stay on. Yes. <laughs> All right, well, there are a lot of new guest stars this season, too. Neo. Neo, yes. Isn't it Cynthia Bailey, 2 Chains, uh, Lil Baby, Saweetie. So whenever, when all those people come on, and, you know, they're big names yes. in, their, in their own right, when they come on, what does that do to the energy on the set? Well, it, it enlivens everybody. Yeah. You know, I mean, because, they, you know, they come with a, a different kind of energy, which is a great energy. Yeah. And they come with their entourages, and everybody's just really excited yeah. but the great thing about it is the musicians there they come ready they, yeah. they come prepared come ready to have a good time and just participate at the highest level yeah. so it takes everything up a notch yeah and I know that you wanted to be part of this because you really wanted to mentor yes. some of these younger actors yeah. what did you want to teach them what why was well, that important you know I think prof professionalism is an art yeah. you know uh, to learn you know how to show up on time how to show prepared that uh, being on time isn't coming at your call time it's coming before yeah. you know those little things uh, that you know kind of make you uh, a person that people want to work with yeah. you know every day on, on a regular basis and call back well it's, a, it's about a level of respect too it's about respecting the job but also respecting the people the people that, yes you know, absolutely. a lot of the younger generation don't really get that I, I, you know I it's it's true I mean and, and it, when I was coming up they told me when you were messing up they told you you messed up totally and now they're like <laughs> soft on everybody right. like, what's going on so I'm able to give him some little looks and I pull him to the side, you know, scold a little bit, you know. Good. I say everybody, the camera people, the crew, they're, they've all been here three hours before you got here. Yeah, so respect them. So yeah, them. respect them. All right, well, so you're also starring, uh, you're back on the stage, which everyone's very excited about. Yes. You're starring in an off-Broadway show. It's called Sunset Baby. Tell us a little bit about it. Well, Sunset Baby is a play written by the lovely Dominique Mirso and directed by Stephen Broadnext the third. It, uh, it's about uh, an estranged uh, daughter who's the, the daughter of two revolutionaries. Oh. Uh, and her mother, she lost her mother, but her father has since uh, returned from prison after oh. doing a long stint in prison and is coming to retrieve these letters yeah. uh, that the mother wrote him and the daughter has in her possession. And so there's a, a sort of a, a back and forth, if you will, between the father and the daughter about who has the rightful owner of these letters. So what was it that made you, that drew you into that project? Because I feel like you're such a busy guy. You always got a lot going on. You got to be selective. You do. I, I think for me, stage is, is my first love. Yeah. And, and it's, I, I said to, to my wife and some friends of mine that I have to go and, and sort of put my mask on first again. Yes. You know, yes. and get that oxygen back. For sure. And, uh, and sort of be an artist again. And so to come back to the, the origins of the stage and what you love, uh, and there's nothing better. Yeah, it's like filling that tank back up, 100%. right? Yeah. All right, well, you can catch BMF this Friday, March 1st, on Stars at 8 p.m. and on the Stars app at midnight, in case you miss it. Thank you, Russell. Good Thank to you. see you.